What's going on guys, this is Damien from The Lookout and yeah, I'm back with Fusion World because can you believe it or not, there are some things going on with this game you know, it's it's not completely dead yet like though this low spoiler reveal makes you think that but it's not so today we have secret rares I'm gonna talk about these secret rares I'm gonna give a bit of a... Uh, controversial opinions piss off some people and uh, yeah we'll actually go over are these secret rares any good but before we begin the video two things first off we give away codes on every single fusion world video there's gonna be more of them now because there's finally some things happening uh, we give away two codes to one lucky winner all you get to do is be a subscriber leave a comment and hit the like button and then at the end of the next fusion world video which should be out tomorrow or by the end of the week i'm going to announce the giveaway winner and of course huge shout out to the coffee club our lovely patrons these are our two dollars and up patrons they buy us coffee they keep this crazy content grind going and guys thanks a lot for your support if you wish to join the coffee club link to our patron is in the description below and i think that's about everything road video as with all of our videos let's start with a breakdown so we have seen the set to secret rares so are they good are they bad like is vg2 better than you think yes he is uh we're gonna be talking about vg2 first and then is golden frieza actually bad believe it or not yes believe it or not yes <laughs> like bad, bad is a bit of a harsh word but we will see when we get to it and then we'll just wrap it up with the summary let's go let's start with vegeto ser which i believe is the better one so this one is actually really good now listen to me five cost 5k combo power which is great 30k on play choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with the cost of five or less and return it to its owner's hand Activate main once per turn, if you have 7 or less in hand, you switch into active mode, so he attacks twice. He reads awful because of the on play part. Like Because of that part, he reads really awful, but he's surprisingly good. Let's go over the pros and cons for Vegito Secret Rare. Okay, so to properly evaluate Vegito, let's go over pros and cons. So, pros... 30k dual attacker in blue. He's always gonna be attacking twice. There, there's no world where you're gonna play this thing with 8-9 cards in hand and they be like, yeah, I'm just gonna pay 5 and then swing once. That's never gonna happen. So he's always 30k dual attacker in blue. He has 5k combo power, which is not normal for SCRs. So that's a nice upside. And he has potential removal. Now, speaking of removal, let's go to cons. Uh, he bounces a card back to hand. That is true. He does bounce a 5 cost or less back to opponent's hand. Maybe. It's an optional effect. Everyone is acting like this is mandatory. Like, oh my god, you give your opponent combo power. No, you don't. Like, why would you ever do that? Like, the effect is only here in case your opponent has a blocker or has uh, his boss monster out and you're not sure can you kill it so you just bounce it to hand because it's zero combo power if he doesn't have a non-play effect who gives a shit so uh it's just an example so it bounces a card to hand but that's all fully optional he doesn't have any keyword skills that that's a bit of a stretch when it comes to cons because if this thing had any keyword skills it would have been broken if it, if it had like double strike yeah that, that would be really stupid uh remember you don't need to use the on play auto it's completely optional if you act like the on play auto doesn't exist this card is amazing like 30k attack twice for five energy it's a smaller brawly which comes out earlier technically earlier brawly is still gonna be out by turn five but you know what i mean so uh yeah all in all it's a very good SCR. It's not Gohan SCR. It's not Goku SCR. But it is really good. It's not as bad as people are making this one out to be. 
Now let's piss off some players by talking about the not good one. Okay, so, Golden Frieza. This one is complete opposite of Vegito. Permanent. Your opponent's battle cards with a cost of 5 or more are played in rest mode. On play, choose up to one of your opponent's rest mode cards and KO it. Uh, 6 cost, 40k, 0 combo power. So this one is complete opposite of Vegito because it reads amazing. When you read it, it's like wow. Like th this is this is insane. This is broken. But like in reality it's not. <laughs> it's it's worse than it seems. So I'm not saying that the card is bad. Like it's not a bad card, but it is decent at best. It's not oh my god this card is amazing. It's not going to do anything most of the time, but hey, you kind of pack like two copies in your deck, one or two copies. So before we dive into like how and why and what's wrong with Frieza, let's check out pros and cons. Okay, so pros, big yellow guy, six cost, that's okay, dodges most of non-green removal. Uh, removal on play. So on play, you'll always get to kill something provided that's in rest mode. And he can stop boss monsters. Maybe. This is the big thing. Like, maybe. Cons, uh, no combo power. But, like, this is the standard. That's normal. Vegito is the only SCR which breaks the mold with this. And comes out way too late to matter. That's the big thing with this one. When you read, you're like, oh my god, this card is insane this is like the best card ever but it's not it's really slow so the main issue with this card is that it's so easy to play around it even when it comes down it's super easy to play around it and also most of the time if you're playing against the green because green is the one that you're looking to stop with this card it's it actually comes out way too late to, for it to matter like it doesn't matter. By the time that you play it, Green already played its big Broly, attacked you twice, and it's like, okay, okay, cool. Sure. Like, the next one will come out in rest mode. Oh no. You already took the damage by then. Okay, so, um, before you call me mad and crazy, think of it like this. Let's say you're playing against Green, right? By the time you actually get to 6 energy in yellow, Broly already came out and attacked you twice and drew a card and killed something. By the time you get to 6, for this effect to matter, Broly already did its thing. So, yeah. And not just Broly. The 5 cost list already came down, Androids already came down. By the time you get to 6, Green already played all of its shit. So, good job, I guess. Frieza, super helpful. Uh, all boss monsters already came out by the time you play your secret rare. Because all non-green boss monsters are 5 costs. So by the time you play the card that's meant to stop them, they already came out and they did their thing. It's okay-ish versus green. Like, it's not completely bad versus green. It's okay-ish if green breaks, you can punish it with this card. But other colors will just beat you with their other cards. For example... U7, well, just uh, you play this, right? You say no more double strike. And U7 just kind of goes, okay, plays two free cost SR Goku, SSB Gokus, and then just hits you for 30 twice. Like, oh no, no double strike. Oh god, imagine the tragedy. So that's the problem. Like, even when you put it down and you're like, okay, I've stopped you, most other colors which aren't green are just gonna say okay and then just beat you with their other cards like it's only green which relies heavily on these big cards but by the time you play frieza green already played all of its shit so you know kind of doesn't really matter overall it looks really really overrated before we end the video let's quickly jump into the summary so the newest scrs are decent they're not completely bad. They are just decent. They aren't nearly as good as the set 1 SCR. Set 1 SCRs are miles ahead. 
miles ahead, but it doesn't mean that the new ones are bad. Like, they're decent. Actually, Vegito is the one SER that you will be okay playing four copies of, because he has combo power. So Frieza is just kind of okay. So they aren't as crazy as UI Goku or Gohan, but they are pretty good. Like, they're just, they're at least decent. Vegito is much better than he seems. Frieza is solid and is really, really overrated. But, like, it's a solid card. And now all of the colors have SCRs. That kind of evens out the playing field until we see the remaining 100 cards and we see, like, the absurd shit that green gets. So, overall, good cards. That's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below. What is your opinion on the new SCRs? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I think the latter is more realistic. So do you think that Frieza is actually good? Let me, do you think that Vegito is actually trash? Let me know in the comments. I read all of your comments. I try to respond to everything. I love our little community. And huge shout out to the winner of the last giveaway, Jude Roger. Jude, you won two digital code packs. Reach out to me either through Facebook, the local DBS, or through Discord. My tag is in the description below. And everyone else, you have another chance to win two packs. We're gonna be having another Fusion World video out very soon. I'm actually filming it very, very soon. So don't worry. Not gonna be a month this time. Because there are some things happening in the game. So it's kind of worth making videos on it. You know, because there's stuff to say now. Not too much, but there is something. So anyway, guys, uh, before you leave, hit those like and subscribe buttons. Help us get to 6k subs when I'm gonna give away a box of codes. This has been Damien from The Lookout, and I'll see all of you in the next video.